after a nice relaxing afternoon in camp. In fact, it's so relaxing, I ended up taking quite the nap. <laughs> um, but of course, I'm camping, so it really doesn't matter. But I'm gonna go ahead and fix dinner, and uh, nothing special tonight. I've got some uh, salmon, lox type salmon, and uh, mac and cheese, gluten free mac and cheese for dinner. So, yeah, really kind of weird dinner. But I do have some also gluten free lemon wafers for dessert, and of course, chocolate. But, um,. And then after I'm done with dinner, I'm going to walk over and see if I can find any fossils. And then after that, it's going to be sunset. And that is going to be photographed uh, near where I'm looking for the fossils. So let's go ahead and get dinner started. And, um, and as you can hear, uh, we might be out in the middle of uh, the, what is it, Strait of Juan de Fuca. We're up in the middle of San Juan Islands, and you can still hear... You know, lots of people. <laughs> uh, it's a very popular place and, and people enjoy in their own special way. So um, I'm going to get dinner started and let's get right back to you. They're really having a good time over there. <laughs> also thought I might have a little bit of hot chocolate with my meal tonight. Um, in the shade, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> Go figure, right? Myself lighter doesn't want to light. I oh, got To be honest, I packed way too much food for this food camp. Whew. Okay, I need hot chocolate. So we're not discussing what happened to my lid for my jet boil. Um, yeah, it went to a place that I was never going to dig it out of. So <laughs> I have to <laughs> compromise sometimes. I'm hungry. Oh, let's get salmon out and ready. Oops. Always pick up your trash. Now, the directions say for me to put it in the microwave. I don't got one. What does everything have to do with the microwave anyway? So, we'll just go ahead and let that sit for there. And I'll get my hot chocolate ready. Ah, yum. Oops. Do you know hot chocolate is hot? Oh my gosh, I think I just burned my mouth. <laughs> but, you know, it's hot chocolate. So therefore you gotta drink it fast, right? No, I gotta learn to sip it. You know, I'm 57 years old and I still haven't learned to drink my hot chocolate slow. <laughs> I'm still a little kid with it. I want it all right now. <laughs> mm. Shaping up to be a really pretty evening. We've got some clouds in the sky, so hopefully those will light up for us at sunset. And there's boats in the, the bay and just anchored just offshore. It's just, I should have, I kept thinking I wanted to do more than one night here. And I uh, probably should have just taken the day off from work and, and uh, 
taken it, you know, made it 48 hours instead of 24 hours on Susha. Next time, though, it's just perfect. We're on the other side of the bay from where I camped, and well, we're looking for fossils. Of course, you know, we want to just leave the fossils, just take pictures of them, leave them for other people to enjoy. There's some really cool um, geological stuff that goes on with this island, or has gone on with this island. There's a fault line you can see, which is on the other side of the hill that I'm walking next to. And, uh, and it basically was folded, so it looks like a horseshoe. It, it, um, yeah, it's really hard to explain because I'm not a geologist. I just kind of think it's really cool. And so there's sandstone uplift and and uh, so that's why we have seashell type fossils around here. So let's go ahead and just kind of mosey down the, the walk a little ways. And I'm not too sure. Well, we've got great clouds, so I'm pretty sure the sunset's going to be really nice. So let's just kind of mosey along here and see what we see. Look at this fascinating crack. There's some embedded rocks up there and just this crack right along. Oh, that could be a really cool picture right there. Isn't that kind of cool? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna photograph that. I'll be right back. was our nice short little walk to find fossils. We found a few. They're all small. They're old shells and then they're filled up with sediment and hardened into rock. And so they're, you know, sometimes you'll find the shell and that's usually what you're looking for is the shell. And then you, the what's underneath is going to be the actual fossil, I guess. But, um, but it was kind of nice, short and sweet. And I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you stay tuned because we still have two more videos from Susha Island. We have sunset tonight and we have sunrise tomorrow. So make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.